Welcome to the SBA's online training course, Encore Entrepreneurs, an introduction to starting and running your own business venture. This training course is one in a series of dedicated tools offered by SBA's Office of Entrepreneurship Education. The course is a self-paced training exercise designed for individuals planning to start a business after earlier career endeavors. It is a practical program with real-life examples and helpful tools. It will take about 30 minutes to complete the training program. Additional time will be needed to review included resource materials and to complete the suggested next steps at the end of the course. The course includes audio narrations, so please adjust your speakers accordingly. Accessibility enhancements including keyboard shortcuts, image tags, and transcripts available for all content are available for this course. The highlighted next steps at the conclusion of the program will help you apply what you have learned and engage you in the process of starting your own business. When you complete the course, you will have the option of receiving a printed certificate of completion from the SBA. The course has three key objectives. Discover how to turn your entrepreneurial idea into a business reality. Define and describe components to forming a new business. Sharing resources to help your new business succeed. There are 10 topic sections within the course. Each section covers a different aspect of entrepreneurship for experienced professionals. The course begins and sets the tone by defining what entrepreneurship entails. It then describes in some detail how to establish a new business. Some of the areas covered include the rise in Encore Entrepreneurs, choosing your business idea, how to develop a business plan, business models, entity structure. Numerous additional resources are identified to assist you. Feel free to download the course learning guide or transcript if you want to take notes or jot down reminders of items to discuss with your business mentor. So if you're ready, let's get started. There are as many reasons for starting a small business as there are Americans reaching retirement age. Corporate restructuring, the need for supplemental income, and a desire for a more flexible lifestyle can all play a part. Advanced technology is leveling the playing field for small businesses, and many individuals approaching retirement are now able to realize their personal ambition to be the boss and reap the rewards. 15% of workers ages 50 to 64 are self-employed, and that rises to 25% for workers 65 or older, according to government figures. Owning your own small business can be an exciting change of pace, as well as a terrific way to stay engaged and productive. As a workforce veteran, you bring a great deal to the table. Maturity, strong finances, and a wide network of professional contacts and associates. For many older entrepreneurs, starting a small business can be an opportunity to transform a lifetime hobby, such as fishing, investing, writing, or photography, into a lucrative line of work. For those ready to take on a pre-formatted business opportunity, franchising may be the right fit for you as evidenced by AARP's feature story. Sole proprietorships, home-based and online businesses are often a natural fit for older small business owners, mainly because they are less expensive to start and allow for more flexibility. A popular option is buying and selling merchandise through online auctions and e-tailers. No matter what kind of small business you are interested in, there are some basic concepts you need to understand to help you in the planning process. Whether you are interested in starting a side business right away or intend to wait until retirement, now is the time to explore the possibilities. Starting a business, purchasing a business, or buying a franchise through the help of the SBA and its resource partners. Take a few moments to read or listen to the personal stories of two successful entrepreneurs from Oregon. From turning a love of animals to a business that serves many baby boomer clients to an industry icon thrust into leading a company after a family tragedy. Below are some tips to help you format your business idea and put it into action. 
in the context of your retirement planning and needs. Be clear about what you want. Starting a business can be more than a full-time job, especially in its infancy. So it's important to assess what you want from your business and how much time you can dedicate to your venture. If you still want time to yourself, build some flexibility into your business planning and schedule, which gives you time to dedicate to other interests. Many business types give you the option to be flexible. Home-based businesses, online businesses, consulting, freelancing, and so on. With this kind of flexibility, you can adjust and scale your commitment as needed. If you need some help assessing your readiness to start a business, use this startup assessment tool from the SBA. Choosing your business idea. Whether you want to pursue a hobby or capture...